I, I understand from talking to a couple people close to you, the, the first time you went to rehab, it, it seemed from the conversations with them, it was almost in a way because you were forced, because you mm -hmm. it were somewhat in jeopardy of losing your marriage. Mm -hmm. But the second time you went, um, they said they really knew it was serious because you made the decision to go. It was something that you wanted. Is right. that true? It's true. It's very true. Um, you know, it's the first time it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll go and, uh, you know, get that heat off my back, you know. Um, everything will be fine after several days, a few weeks, whatever. Um, but you don't do it, you don't do it because you want to, you know, you don't do it because because you know you need help, you know, you do it because other people want it for you. Just, it just doesn't work that way. What, what went wrong between when you first got out of rehab in 2011 and when you made the decision to go back a couple of years later? I, I just didn't accept that, that, that I had a problem. I couldn't accept it. And I understand from talking to, uh, you know, one of your close friends, even during your career, uh, you know, you, you had a problem both with, you know, substance abuse and infidelity. Um, how were you able to manage it during your career? My, my, my life was just a big lie. I knew how to manipulate, I knew how to lie, I knew how to cover up, I knew... I'll tell you one thing, it was so exhausting. It's just so exhausting doing all that. Now it that was. I think about it, absolutely. Because here I have to juggle this image, you know, the golden boy, you know, being the perfect father, being the perfect husband, being this, that. Wow. And then knowing that it's not true, that was exhausting. Your brother Joel told me, he's like, look, Oscar's a great liar. Um, how much would you keep your problems even from those closest to you, like your brother? Oh, nobody could, no, nobody could know of my problems. I mean, I, I, would, I would keep everybody away from, from what I was feeling. Um, I, I just knew how to hide it. Any type of feeling I was, you know, I was feeling. Um, I, I even knew how to lie to myself, you know. I would convince myself, no, this is right. How old were you when you first really started drinking? I must have been like 13, 14. I took my first drink when I was eight. Um, but um, yeah, around that age, uh, I knew how to hide it back then too. What about uh, when you first started using drugs regularly, and what was your drug of choice? You know, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, my thing was alcohol. Um, it wasn't regularly. Um, if it presented itself, you know, and then you're in amongst that, those people and the party and this and that, yeah, of course, I, I, I did drugs. This is a monster. This is a freaking monster, you know, that, that I'm dealing with. And, um, but it's okay. It's okay because, um, you know, um, every time I go to sleep now, I get to reset that button, you know? And, and I know the next morning is a new day.